Hey guys, what is up? It is Captain Shocker here, and today I'll be performing a shooting test with my ANK Masada and my Elite Force 1911. So what I will be doing is I will be pumping up a water bottle using one of my contraptions that I built. The water bottle should be inflated to around 50 psi for this to work. Now that we're done inflating the water bottle, we can go place it and make a target out of it. That looks pretty good. As you can see, now that the shooting test is over, the water bottle did not blow up, but it did pop. Also, if you squeeze the bottle afterward, it creates smoke because of how compressed the air was when you blew it up with the bike pump. That was pretty cool, so now let's try it again. Also, if you would like to see a review or shooting test of the Airsoft BB trap that I used in this video, please let me know. Now that the plastic water bottle is done being blown up, let's go put it down on the ground and make a target out of it. That looks center. For this next shooting test, we'll be using the Elite Force 1911 TAC. Because the bottle didn't pop with the Elite Force 1911, let's finish this shooting test off my a and Masada. Full auto. That was pretty sweet. When I was shooting full auto, some of the BBs ricocheted back at me. Now let's go take a look at the damage of the bottle. Well, I think that the reason the bottle did not create smoke this time was it was compressed for a very long time. And much longer than the first water bottle. So this is the device that I used to blow the bottles up with my airsoft guns. If you would like to see how I made it, or what inspired me to make it, which was Grant Thompson, please tell me in the comments if you want to see a video.